All right, I'm here with Mario Esposito on the Microsoft campus. Mario, what are you going to show us? Hi, good morning. I'm going to show you uh, Gaze. Microsoft Gaze is an in-text advertisement solution that helps publishers in monetizing better their content and helps users to find what they, uh, they're looking for. Okay, Let me show you. Good, so it's in-text, you said? That's right. Okay. I think I've seen something like this before. <laughs> we have something that is uh, quite different. Okay. Let's see. So when uh, the user rolls over the, the links, the keywords or the words, we display meaningful content, aggregated information for that particular entity. We define those keywords as entities because we can cover different domain of knowledge. Uh, now let me walk through uh, to, the to the gadget, what we define as the gadget. Here we have a picture that changes every time the gadget is displayed. On the right side we have what we call a smart sentence. This content changes over time using the information that we have here in the profile information. So next time will be like, she was born here, her sign is Virgo, she is a tall like 5'8", stuff like those. As we keep going through the gadget, we find an aggregation of information for this particular entity. I can actually walk through my uh, video gallery and play the video that I like the most. I can do the same thing for the, for the music. As I go through, I get the tracks. I can play uh, the 30 seconds preview of the song and get more information. And again, an ad is displayed. If I stay a little more on this page, this ad will refresh itself, which means we increase over 50% the number of ads that we display in place. We have also the photo gallery. I can actually go through the photo and walk actually into the photo using this magnifier when the photo is bigger than the, the actual size of the gadget. Then we have what we call the timeline, the current drill of this application. We go online and we fetch all the public information that we find about this particular entity. When the user clicks on these dots, an extended tunnel, that's how we define this extended section, opens up, we display more information that particular event, and again, an ad is displayed. The ads are actually blended into the content. We do not leave just ads, but content plus ads. So you're trying to deliver something that's actually valuable to the user and gets them to click on those links. Very correct. Can you go back and show how you originally got this box, this gadget to pop up? Sure. So it was it was so a link on the page, inside, right? Inside the web page, you have a, a couple of lines of a JavaScript. This JavaScript will basically automatically detect, using our entity extraction algorithm, the keywords that we are able to identify for domain of knowledge, in this particular example, are celebrities. When you roll over the, um, the entities, or the links, the gadget pops up. Okay. A display ad is presented. You have the opportunity, if you want, to give a feedback to that particular ad. Or you can simply dismiss it. Now, what if I'm a user who just doesn't like to, to click on those embedded links? Excellent question. For advertising. So in that particular case, as publisher, you have the totally full control of what you're hosting on your site. After all, it's your site. So you can go here and can say, I do not want to display. I do not want the hover behavior. I want the click. So if I hover, nothing happens. But if I do click, the gadget pops up. And when that is the case, that one is not enough, you can actually switch to what we call the quick bar. The quick bar shows the most popular content for the entity that you are looking at. There is no link injected, there is no over behavior. You actually have to go on this little icon and click on it. We display the most popular content for that particular entity with no ad and nothing else, no fussy. You need to get the value out of it. Let me uh, change this behavior so you can see in real life how this works. Refreshing the page you see the quick bar injected into the links, in, into the content. There is no more link, uh, but we have different icons for every celebrity. For example, for Celine Dion, we display a photo gallery, just a photo gallery. As I go through, I click and I learn more about photos. Now, how are analytics, which is shown here, tells us that you are engaging more and more and more and more with this kind of a behavior, with the quick bar. So based on the information that we have here, we switch from the little icon that you have seen early to this behavior. 
So essentially, it's pretty much customizable by the publisher. Totally customizable. Based, based on sort of user preference. That's right. All right, Mario. Well, thanks very much for leading us through this. Now, um, Gaze, wh what's the status? Is it currently in, in private beta? Currently, we are in private beta. We have a 300 uh, uh, sign up for this, and we are exploring and learning more uh, as we refine user experience. The business side will decide what to do next. Good. Well, thanks very much. Thank you very much.